good evening there folks, this is your friend and your host Normandy Junction, welcoming you back for another episode of Building the Olympic slash Titanic in Minecraft, and on a scale of 4 to 1, at least I think it is, I lost track. <laughs> um, apologies for the delay in the last video, it's been a while, uh, I've actually been on holiday, so I've had a little bit of a recharge and I'm ready to go again, so let's begin. So this episode we are going to be finishing it off the dining room, first class dining room. Um, so this is how far we got last time. So what we're going to do first is the lamps for the roof. Okay, we're going to do this. Like I say, the beauty of this room, it's all symmetrical. So all what happens on this side is the same as the other. Okay, and it's really quite easy to build. Oh, thank God, it's probably one of the easiest rooms I've done. So what I need you all to do first, folks, is come to the stern of the port side. The port side is what, if you look at the stern, it's the right hand side. But if you look at the bow, it's the left hand side. So I need you to come to this doorway. I've already marked the first one with the glowstone, okay? So, if you go to the roof, where the staircase is, okay? That's one, two, three, four, five, six block, put a glowstone. And so that's one, two, three, four, five, put a glowstone. And then you're going to have a gap of seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One there. And that'll leave a gap of five. One, two, three, four, five. Five, okay, because we're marking this pillar as one of the centre joints. So those are our first two lamps. Oh, I'm sorry, I must have forgotten. I just want to say thank you to all my new subscribers that have joined my channel. I really appreciate you all joining me, and to all my current ones as well. And as I was seeing the channel grow on my little break here and there, and I was like, wow, it's amazing. Thank you very much. So let's carry on. So going on from this reference glowstone here, you need to go down by at least two frames per time. So what I mean by that is if we go for this one. We miss this one, miss the second one, you go on the third one. And same again. And same again. So you're getting the idea. And this is going all the way down to the end of the room. So I'll just quickly do this one here. So like I say, well, that's a one and a two and a glowstone. One and two and a glowstone. One and two and a glowstone. One and two and a glowstone. And one and two glowstone. I keep saying glowstone quite a lot. So I'll just continue on, we'll just keep doing as far as it can to get to the room, make sure we're not uh, skipped here by three frames, because I have done that before in the past. And I had to redo the whole room. So yes, we're at the end of the room now, so that is this is where the door is going to be here, the next wall. So I'll just double check down here, make sure we're all aligned. Yes, so we're all aligned, so I can get rid of that glowstone down there. And same for this one here. Like I said, there's going to be three parts here, this roof, so I'm doing this section here. It's like sort of the middle of the three. And then it's going to be the bay one in here. And then we're going to do the centre of the room because in the middle here is the captain's table, which had a quite a large lighting structure. Okay, so let's get this one over and done with here. So like I say, I'll like I said, I'll just do a few more, and don't forget we've got to do the other side as well. Okay, uh, so I'll put that in the wrong place there. So I'll put that goes down there. So make sure that's lined up. There we go. Now each lamp light I do, I get a sea lantern. I put one block on each side of the block of the glowstone and then what I next I do is get my oak trap door I put it on the middle like that and then I get I still can't say this date the right slab I can't say it right so I put one here one here one here and this one joins up to the end of the roof here okay and then next thing I do is I put one there one there, so it's like a three on the end of the sea, of the sea lanterns. One there, one there, one there. Okay, so it should look like that. Now the next thing you need to do, get one more slab and put it up, make it like a point like this. Okay, this is just the style of the roof. Now, when you come across the uh, actual stair bits, obviously we can't put a slab in there because obviously it's not looking right. So what you get is a right stairs. Let's see if I can find it. There we go, the right stairs. There you go. Let's put it on there like that. That's when you come across any sections of the side of the walls. Okay. So I'll say I'll do it one more time for this side. So I'll get your sea lantern. So that's one, two, three, and four. Next thing you know, get your slabs. Which I've just replaced, silly me, I'll just get it back. Uh, okay, do right slabs. Okay, put it on there, there we go. So that's one, two, Ooh, there you go. Two, three, one, two, and 
three, one, one, two, and a three, and one, two, and a three. There you go, it looks like that. And get your trapdoor, put it in the middle. Okay, and also as well, tip points of the structure like that. Uh, but here, obviously, I'm going to be hitting a block. So what you could do, actually, just put a, to replace the quartz block, you could just do two slabs on the do right, like that. Okay, so that's the best I can do. And you can just join up in the center there with a single slab. And while we're on the topic, so if you get your smooth quartz slab, any gaps you see in between, you can just fill them in with your slabs here. There you go. And it'll look... As I say, try not to hit the roof because if you make a mistake, you gotta take it off. Like I say it's a bit tedious, but this is what we need to do. Okay, so it should look like that. And if you want to get, if you come across any of the stairs, I'll say to right slab. Let's go to the stair. And once I've changed it again. All right, there we go. I'll just put it on there for now replace it as well and it's the same for this side as well okay there you go so i'll see so it should look like just like this okay so what you need to do now folks as i said we need to go down oh i just forgot to say as well these middle sections here okay if you put a smooth quartz slab put it on top because obviously that's the deck above making it a block and what you do after that is you get your Oak trapdoor, put it on. So it should look like that. Okay, I mean, it's it's not the best. I mean, it's the best way I can come up with in Minecraft. So like I say, get yourself a slab, 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 slab. So it's basically making the deck above a block. And then you get your trapdoor, 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 trapdoor. Okay, so like I say, you just need, what you need to do now is go all the way across, fill in this side, and don't forget we've got the other side to do as well. So it's exactly the same thing we need to do. So like I say, I'll do a jump cut. Like I say, there's no point in me doing it all. You'll just be bored to death. And I'll do each individual's lamp, and I'll be back and just show you up to join up the rest of the patterns. Right, folks, this is where we are. So this is how the lanterns, the, you know, the upper lights of the roof should look on both the port and starboard sides, as I said, for this side as well. So the next stage we're going to do, we're going to do these inside bays here. Okay, now it's pretty much the same again. Now, I've already put the first two down. So basically, we're going to put a light on it, the same as the frames as these ones here. So if you start from this center block here again, and you count out to five, so that's one, two three four five put a glowstone and then a six gap of six then a glowstone and that leaves a gap of five so that's one two three four five okay so once again get your sea lanterns and do a four around them there we go and then another four around them as well there okay and then once again i get your i still can't say it right the riot slab ah uh, pretty sure i'll be corrected in the uh comments below but uh, yeah just put a three well put one on the uh, slab there there we go also on the sea lantern and the three there as well there you go so it should look like that and once again put a singular one in between the three okay and this one here we could just leave blank because as I say it's touching the wall Actually, we, uh, no, we won't. No, no, we won't. So, so take that quartz block out and put two slabs in there. Okay, so that one's there done. And I'll see you get your oak trapdoor and put on the top. Like I say, it's part of the mod pack. So like I say, this one looks pretty good. Uh, so like I say, slab again. Fill in the gaps in between. There we go. Okay, so I'll get a glowstone now. So like I say, we do the same for the other side and we join them up. Just the same pattern as here. And once again, if you come to any other stairs, just replace the steps and get your Dariot steps as well, uh, which I've not got in my inventory again. Uh, where are they? Where is it? Oh, okay, there it is, Dariot steps. <laughs> Can't keep track. I'll just put in there for now. There we go. So like I say, you just continue on. So the next one is two frames across, which was that one there. Two frames across, which was that one there. 
the two frames across, which is that one there. Actually, I've gone wrong somewhere. I do apologise. Uh, two frames across is that one. Two frames across. It's right next to the wall. This next one. Is it next to the wall? No, I missed it again. Oh, not getting it right tonight. Okay, so, like I say, that one there, gap. And obviously, there's a wall there, so there's not much we can do there. So, say, so you go into the next room, go back inside. Like I say, if you use this one as a reference, that's one, two, three, four, five, glowstone. And then a gap of six, a glowstone there. And obviously, we can't put one on there because there's a wall there. Like I say, you just keep to that pattern. Always go two frames down. So, there's that one. And that one. There we go. And next one is uh, this one, which is okay, bear with me. So that's one, two, three, four, five, a glowstone, and then a gap of six. There we go. So that fills, there should be at least six lights in this middle bay, which there is. And I think there's six in this one as well. Is there six? Yeah. So there's going to be six. Six there. Oh, sorry, eight. Eight because it's a bigger bay. Okay, so we you continue the pattern all the way down to the end of the room. Like I say, so it's this one, so it's uh, one, two, three, four, five, glowstone, then a gap of six, glowstone, there we go. And also we can't put that one there because of the wall, and this one here, so that's one, two, three, four, five, glowstone, gap of six, and a glowstone, and go two down. Be one there. Gap of two, one there. Yeah, that's right. Okay. <laughs> so let's do the gap of six there. Like I say, if you it's all symmetrical, it's all the same. So three, six, and a glowstone. There we go. So it should look like that. And then continue. I'm not gonna build an axe, you know, we're getting to the use of the pattern by now. So like I said, I've got to do the same for the other side. But what I need you to do, folks, for now is get a quartz block. Come to, well, this is frame B20 of the bow. So this one will be B19, uh, so B21, B22. Come to B22 and go to the top. Now from this corner here, this one here I'm marking, okay, remove the smooth stone and replace it with block. Now I need you to put this line going straight across. The reason for that as well. So work your way across the dining room. There we go. I think the best thing to do really is just make a line like this, remove everything. Okay, keep going right to the other end of the funnel. In fact, it runs the whole length of the ship. Right, so it's okay, be careful of that. Like I say, we don't want to take any of this, this blow below. Let's say continue along. They say it lines up nicely with the frame where the doorway is towards the stern, towards the gallery. Okay, so just join it all up like this. So it floats across the room. There we go. I'll do the same for the other side. There we go. So we'll come back and it's a bit darker over here, but same again, come to the other side. Basically where this sea lantern is, put a block there to cover it and go straight across. In fact, we'll make a gap first. Going across the entire dining room. Now you need to do this for the roof and the floor. Okay, because this is basically going to line up across the entire ship. It's a point of reference, really, for the walls, the interior walls. Okay, so we'll just remove that. There we go. And then we can put the box of quartz across. There we go. Nearly done. Like I said, we need to do we need to do the same for the floor as well. But you know, while we're here, if you want to, I mean, you could uh, join it up towards the bow because, like I say in the previous video, when we were doing the air vents for the first funnel, it lined up here. So you could, like, you know, technically just join it up or going across here. As so. So like I say, you can join that up all the way up to, because it should line up nicely. So it's just a little, takes a little time to do. I'll do it as quick as I can. As I say, this is where most of the, the walls are. So like I say, look, lines up nicely, perfectly. Then that's going to go the whole length of the ship. 
Okay, so like I say, it'll be the same for the deck above and the deck above that and the boat deck. Okay, and go all the way down as well. So once again, come to this sea lantern, put a block here, go to the dining room. We'll just do the dining room for now and just remove all these blocks. Oh, no, those blocks. So <laughs> it tends to drift a little bit. So let's remove all these ones here. Because it's best doing this now because obviously we're going to lay the carpet. So, you know, you don't want to be doing this and realize, oh no, I forgot to do it. So I say, let's go underneath. So we get to the door. Are we there yet? Let's go up to this sea lantern. See where we are. Yeah, here we are. There we go. Let's pull it across. And this is the only time we'll be doing this, like I say, because there was a single frame going across the entire section of the middle section of the ship. Right, so let's do the other side now. So I'll just fly across. Like I say, if you want to join this up to the next funnel, be my guest, not a problem. Let's say if I show you now. Going right across, oh, it's a bit dark. Let's put a good light button there so we we'll see where we're going. Going to stretch the entire cross of the ship until we join up to the next funnel, which is there. There you go, lines up nicely. Right, so let's get to this side now. So, all right, so we're on the port side, the left-hand side looking at the bow. Put it on the sea lantern and just go straight across again. Until you get to the doorway before the gallery. There let's get down the middle. Like I say, apologies if this is taking a long, but I just want to show you guys so you know exactly what you're doing. Like I say, I'm still learning myself. There we go. Okay. So let's pull this backwards now. Bit of a strange effect. Go, put a block there so that should look like that now so we should have a pattern big rectangles on the roof and the bottom right the reason I actually to do that as well so what I needed to do now is we come to this side of the room okay where the uh, stair is remove it and get yourself a pillar quartz block put it on there make sure it's facing so you get that effect and pull it straight across like that Ooh. Okay, so we get to the other end of the room. Which is, I've gone past it. <laughs> so come back a few frames. There we go. So where it ends at the end, I will put a quartz block. There we go. Right, so same for the other side. Okay, here we go. So once again, Remove the stair, get yourself a pillar block, drag it across. So you come to the other end of the room. Uh, I've got past it again. Okay, so there we go, get a block of quartz, which is there on that frame. Remove those, which I made a mistake of. Now, like I can see you've got two lines there now, but we need to go again, okay? So if you just bear with me. But this time, I only want you to take it to the center of the room, the center what yellow block, okay? Because we haven't done this, finished this side yet. So that would be center frame, that would be about, so put a quartz block about there, and the same for the other side. So center quartz block would be about there, up on the ladder, to so see what we're doing. And once again, get your pillar quartz block, and drag it to the stern side of the room. So you should have a double line like that. Join up nicely with the chiseled. And save this side. Join it up very nicely. And what you need to do now is get your quartz steps. Well, smooth quartz steps. Which I have not got my own to do again. Okay. Get your quartz steps. 
and where we joined it up here, where the pillar is, you just go straight across. Like I said, I just want you to go to the centre of the room for now. Okay, so we'll finish about there. Okay, just before the quartz block. So the same the other side. And like I said, we've got to line it up nicely to make sure it's all straight. So I made a mistake there. There you go. So it should look like that. Okay. And that joins up nice. That fills it in with a nice curve there. So it's the same again for the other side. Okay, say starting here. So you're going to go and drag it across. Oop, there we go. Until we get to about the middle there. Okay. And it's the same for the other side as well. So we'll drag that across. All the way up to the end. I just moved that step there. I think that was my message going off. If you heard a beep. Okay, so yep, so yep, so that should look like nicely now. We're getting more like a roof. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is that I'm going to finish the lights on these three bays. I'll do this sort of the same side as well, and then we'll come to the center of the room, and then we'll finish off this side as well. Okay, so I'll be back in just a moment again, folks. Right, folks, so I've completed both sides now of the dining hall. Uh, like I said, on, on both of the three bays, we've now completed all the lights and that section as well. Now we need to do the center. Now we need to start off towards the back here of the stern. Now, also, we can't go down here because the cabinet's in the way. So we're going to be starting on uh, stern frame number six. So if you head straight up, okay, and head to the nearest wall here, we start at the staircase and it is... But, um, I'll get my numbers right. Six across. That's one, two, three, four, five, six. And then there goes the glowstone. And then it's a gap of 15. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight is the center. Nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Another glowstone there. So it's like a seven basically towards the center. And that leaves a gap of about a six. That's one, two, three, four, five, including the step six. So there you go. So once again, it's the same process. Uh, let's say I'll do another one again. So like I say, get a sea lantern. Put one on each side of the glowstone. There we go. And then get your smooth quartz slab. Oop, not there. Put it around the edges. And then get your oak trapdoor. Put one on there and then we get and then obviously one in the middle there we go and then we have to do the pattern again so it's one two three one two two three one two and three and the last one here okay and don't forget to put a block on the inside of each at the end of each one so it looks like that now, obviously, on these ones, I've been joining them up, but on this one, don't. Because, like I said, there's a separate pattern that goes down the middle of the room here. So, let's find out where each one is located. Like I say, we just got two across again. So, that's one frame, two frames, and this is the next one. So, I should put that on the right one. Yes, it is. So, let's say there's a gap of six. So, that's one there. Like I say, you just follow the pattern here. So, this one's the next one. So, I'll put that there. If I let's put it in the right place. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. So it's that, that one. And then stick into this frame here, another gap of two. So another one's here, another gap of two, and another one there. Let's see where we are. Because like I said, there is going to be a wall here between, on the bow section, between frames 12 and 13. So the next available frame for a light is this one, B10. So we've got to B10. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six. Close down there. Okay, so that completes that line. I say you just need to do the same. So once again, I'll be doing another jump cut, folks, as I'll finish the lights off here, and then we'll be doing the patterns, then filling in the ceiling. Then we're going to be finishing this section here with the cabinet, and then the back walls, and then the carpet. All right, so I'll be back in just a moment. Right, folks, so we've now finished all the lights in the dining room, and it's looking pretty good. So we're now onto the ceiling. Now, the ceiling, I'll start with the central design here, okay? So we go up to our first set of lanterns here, which is on frame bow 10, bow 10 directly above us. Go towards the center here, and what you need is a slab, a quarter smooth slab. You need to go one, two, three, 
one above and one below, okay? Now repeating that pattern, you need your right slab and you just need to go to the right by three. One, two, three, it joins up there and to the left, one, two, three. And then you just put a right slab here, here and here. And it's the same for the other side, okay? There and there, okay? So that is the pattern for the center of the lamps uh, on the center of the ship. Okay, now the next stage, okay, it's going to be a little bit more tricky, trickier, so bear with me. So what you need to do first, working your way down, but like I say, what I would recommend doing first is doing this pattern on always in between the two lights. So I'll say like it's a one, two, three, and then a four, and one, two, three, then a four there, followed by a smooth quartz slab in the middle, make it like a cross, and put your slabs around the outside like this. Okay, so that's how it all joins up. Okay, there we go. Okay, and obviously in between as well, we just need to repeat this pattern then. So like I say, we've done one, oh, I've gone a bit towards the stern there. So one there and one there. So the next stage, what we need to do is we're gonna do a pattern in between these two sections. And this is the same going all the way up to the end. So we'll start from here, okay? So where this block is, block is to put a slab here and one to the right and one to the left. So it's a, like a three. And then you do one slab down on each side. And then you do another three going across. So it's making it look like a square. There you go. So we'll continue that. Like I say, I'll put an image of it onto this along with this pattern. So you make sure you're not confused. And the next bit you need to do is go to the right. One, two, and a three. And go to the left. One, two, and a three. And then you just do like another square around it again. So it's like one there, one there, and stretch it across. One there, one there, and stretch it like across. Okay. And then you do join the two sides up like this. And then you just do from here, when this lantern is, you put one there, one there, and one there. And then you just join it up. So it's like four little squares, basically. So that's the pattern. And you just fill in the gaps with your smooth quartz slab go so hopefully that's pretty easy to follow for you you just need to repeat that pattern so like I say we've done the center here then we do this section and then we repeat this step again okay so you join them all up now to join up the lamps or the lanterns between the sides here if you just bear with me I'm just get the pattern up now for you I'll just put it on the screen it all it is is it's a basic well if you want to go from here it's a one two and then you just get your quartz slabs. One, two, three. And then it's a Dariot slab. So it's one here, one here, one here, and one here. So it's like, like looking like a four. It looks like a little cross in the middle. Okay. There, and there, and then you just join them up here. So it's one there, one there, and going out towards the side, connect it to the wall. Oh, not those two. Connect it to the wall. Now, as soon as you hit the, the wall here, you need to put the stairs in. Like that. Okay? So, like I say, I hope it's pretty easy to follow. But, like I say, you just need to follow that pattern. And, like I say, you just work it. And it's the same for the other side as well. But this is just for the centre. Okay? It's just for the centre. Work your way towards the end of this wall here. Like I say, we need to get this other wall up here on the bow section up as well. So, basically, make your way across until you come to basically between frames 12 and 13. But like I said, I'll probably just start from here, from bow 10, frame 10, work your way to the stern. And once you've finished it all, you can just fill in all the gaps. Like I say, once you get up to there, you know, you can put your smooth quartz stairs on like this and then get your smooth slabs and fill in any gaps and that will fill the whole of the roof in the center okay so like i say i'll do another jump cut guys if you need to repeat this again like i say i'll leave, we'll leave an image on okay and while i'm building it as well so like i say any gaps now like i say from here all these four areas are joined so just get your smooth slabs and start filling it in Go. There you go. So, like I say, it's starting to look like a roof there now. Okay, so I'll fill this section in now. We could do this bit here.
Okay, so there you go. So I say it's looking more like the roof now. So like I say, I'm going to do another jump cut. Like I say, do the cross section, then the centre decoration, cross section again, centre decoration, cross section again, and so forth and so forth. And basically fill in any gaps you have with the wall. If, like I say, if you've got any derived slabs, uh, hitting these, you just replace it with a derived stairs. Okay, so I will be back when I finish this roof off in just a couple of seconds. Right, after that folks, this is what it should look like. Hopefully it should. <laughs> it's just taking me a while to get it done. It took half, like, half the day, because obviously uh, I've got to do this in my spare time, folks, when I'm filming. Right, so this is the completion of the pattern. Like I say, it goes all the way up to the cabinet at the end, so I'll just zoom in there if you want to have a quick look. So I'm gonna, what we're going to do now is basically this side of the room, this section here, and this section here, which are going to connect up the, uh, the patterns here, but it's a very simple pattern to connect them. So I'll just do it here for you. So all you need to do, if you just bear with me, well, I'll just go and get my notes again. I write a lot of things on paper these days. Okay, so all it is, uh, from any each side of the, the lanterns, uh, you need your Dariot slab again. And each side, there's one there, just add an extra one, and then add an extra one. Get your smooth quartz slab and connect it with a three. Put one in the center there, and one on the outside, and then put your Dariot slab base into the corners, make it a big square. And then keep with your Dariot slab on the outside, keep one here and stretch it to this to the basically the column with the stairs. So there you go. Well, make sure you don't do a double. And replace the stairs with the Dariot stair just there. Okay, so it's the same on the other side. So get your Dariot slab, so there's one already there. Put another one on, another one on the side. And then you get your smooth quartz slab, connect it all the way across, and on the other side as well. And one, two, three, and a four. And basically connect to the center here. There you go, join them up. And then on the outside here, one, two, three, once you hit the steps, we will replace it with the right stairs. Okay, so that is the pattern. So it's the same on the, on the inside of the, of the bays as well. So once again, all you need to do is get a one and a one, and then get your smooth quartz slab, fill in, do a three, and put one on each side. One, two, three, and four, and connect it to the side here and replace it with a derived stair. And same on this side. Also, we do know there's going to be one there. So like I say, yep, just do a one and a one. Smooth quarter slab going right across one, two, three. Put a single one there, single one makes it look like a cross. And put a right slab on each of the corners. And on the center ones here, connect them to the center and to the stair as well. And like I say, if you see any gaps now, like say here and here, you just fill them in with smooth quarter slabs. There we go. So that's making the ceiling. Okay, there you go. Okay, so it's so far and so far. So there is a lot to do this time and a lot of ceiling to fill in, but it will be all complete then. But as I say, we're going towards the bow here. I just want you to do up to where this, uh, well, basically, what frame is this again? What was the number again? It'll come back to me. Hang on. B17. On B17. So that's 18, 19. Just go to B19. So I say what I mean is just go all the way up to here. Just before that frame. Obviously we can put a two there. Okay. Because obviously we need to re obviously build this side of the wall. But obviously we do know the stairs are going to go there. Okay. So like I say, I'll be back in a moment folks. Just let me finish building the rest of this roof. And then we'll do the walls here. I'll work our way around the funnel. And we will be done by finishing off with the carpet. I'll be right back. Right, there we go, folks. That is the complete roof all completed. So I'll give you a little flyover, see what it looks like. So as I say, we're looking here at the stern, towards the gallery, and I've done each individual roof. So we've just got a few more things to do now. But one thing, thing I did do while I did this jump cut 
was I completed the port, uh, sorry, the port side of the bow section. Now there is a difference with this section, it has windows, so what I'm, what I'm doing is I've left the port section free, as I say I've done the cabinet as well, it's exactly the same as this one, which is on the other side, but we're gonna, but this side is a little shorter, so I'm gonna go over to the port side now and show how it's done. So to begin here with, you just come along to, like I say, this is the starboard side, okay, well, famous side where the iceberg hit the Titanic, and you come over to frame the end frame of bow 20, okay, so you just put one individual block there, and then you get your grey concrete, and you need to go out to 30 to the left, so that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, okay, so 30 in total, and then you go inwards by 14, so go from the block here, if you put a single block there, it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, and they join up, so it's exactly the same as this side here, and all you need to do is remove this block here, okay, it's a bit more angled, so what we need to do now, is also what also we're going to do we're going to go out to this wall here so we'll close off this wall first so you go out by two then you, what you need next is we're doing the door again so let's go get the wood block again like i say i'm as quick as i can for you folks because i don't know i'm getting very very at the time how long my videos take <laughs> okay so here we go so we'll just use the wood block again so once again you go one so make sure you're facing that block so it's going outwards like this two three one two three so six in total and the rest you just drag towards the end okay like i say you can use black or gray so i'm gonna use the gray one this time okay so get your blocks of quartz from when the corner is here drag it right to the top uh, so so it lines up perfectly just there now to make things a little quicker just get your chiseled not chiseled uh your white concrete and start filling in this corner here okay so what I mean corner these two walls <laughs> okay so you're just filling it all the way as we go now towards the front part of the cabinet just do the bottom two okay so like I say on this side here just fill it all the way across so just before you reach the top where this uh, pillar chiseled is if you get your chisel quart blocks which I say lined up here nicely just make sure you put a block there and take it towards the wall there you go then get your white concrete again drag this corner up there we go and drag it right across so we get this wall all filled in nicely okay there we go just two more rows to go oh come on there we go, that's that done. There you go, so that all should be filled in now. Like I say, if you get your pillar quartz block, like I say, we just need to fill in this remaining support pillar here. Drag all the way down to the chiseled. Okay, so that's all looking very nicely now. Now, next bit we need to do, we are going to, uh, well, like I say, at the top of this block here, get your blocks of quartz and come outwards 14. So that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Uh, sorry, 15. Because, like I say, I forgot to mention the center block here. So it's 15 in total, but it's 14 from the center. And what I mean is, I'll just put a replacement block there. Okay, so that's the center line. So the row below it, get your chiseled drag all the way across to your contact there and the next bit you need to do is get your white concrete now the, these two lines here these two blocks you can just tra take right to the top there you go so it looks like that next thing you need to do is get your oak wood again the next row across like I say is one two three and the remaining is going up like this and you just join it right across the center like that same from the top as well and next thing you need you need just your walls 
And like I say, for this uh, mod pack, this uh, skin pack, I use the end stone brick wall. Okay, and then you just start filling the center. This gives it like a nice little decoration. There we go. There you go, so it should look like that now. Okay, and then what you need to do is put it on the floor as well, making the cabinet. Like I say, if you go back to this corner here, miss the first two blocks, that's one, two, put one here and come out by two. So that's one, two, and join it up towards the center. Okay, I'll leave the signpost there. So like I say, you're in between frames 11 and 12 with about, but about, you know, a bit more towards the number frame number 12. Okay, now I'll do the rest of the wall. Okay, there we go. So it should look like that now. And what you need now, folks, is some more slabs again. And on mine, I use the smooth sandstone slab. Okay, and then you just fill the top. Let's make it a bit more like a cabinet. There we go. So fill those three rows. It should look like that now. But like I say, you need to do the same for the both sides to join it up nicely. So go back to, well, also you'll need on concrete, you need brown concrete. Okay. And uh, let's get, okay, so we'll just do the brown concrete first. If you go from the top, where the um, lantern is, the C block, okay? If you go one in towards the center, like I say, this is just off frame number B12, okay? You need to go outwards, so I'm sure that's seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, okay? So like I say, pull another that block, that's your center. And you go out by seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Next thing you need to do is go inwards by two, but a row behind. What I mean is like that. And you do the same one more time. So it looks like that. Okay. And once again, get your oak wood again. There we go. Now, using the slabs as a reference, on the outside one is one, two, three, four, Five, remove the six, plot block there, and drag it to the top. So you make contact with the brown co brown concrete. And the next one is I'll give you a demo here. Is two in from the back. So that's one, two. Remove that one. Put a wood block and just drag it to the top. Okay. Next thing you need to know is you need your smooth quartz stairs. Now I won't fill in the centre block there. We'll just go put them on the on the wall like that. So like I say, it's. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then a two, and then another two, and then put it on three there. And what you need to do is turn inwards, put it on each individual stair, so it looks like that, but turn around, put it on the quartz block pillar here, so it gives you that nice little turn, and you just drag it towards here. There you go, so that's the roof all corner off, so we just fill in there now, fill in the roof. So what I'll do, I'll do that now for you. So like I say, we're still continuing the pattern. So your Darius slab, if I'm saying that right, again, <laughs> if I'm saying it right. Okay, so from this one, it's just a two. Okay, and then we could just get your smooth quartz slab, just fill it in there, put a Darius slab, one there, one on the side like that. And this one from the middle, you need to do a three here, one, two, three. And then you can just fill in this gap here with your smooth quartz slab. There we go. So that pretty much finishes the roof there. And on the other side, all we need is smooth slab, put it there, and then we just join it up. Put a slab there, the right slab, take it towards the stairs. And then fill the rest in with smooth, smooth quartz slab. So we've finally finished off the roof with its pattern. Okay. So final thing we need to do is corner it off here. There we go. So we just need our Dariot stairs now. Okay. Now according to the pattern should be one stair there one stair there okay and then one stair there because they're touching the walls there you go so that's pretty much all filled in nicely yeah 
all done on the inside now on the inside here you can put any lights if you want any decorations but i'll just finish it off with smooth quartz slabs fill the inside as well there we go so there you go it's all cornered off now like i said that's the center of the ship i'll leave that there just for reference I say with the ballroom as well, I knew, uh, like I said, I won't be doing the dining room chairs or anything like that. That is completely for you to enjoy. But I do know sometimes they did change this room and it became a ballroom rather than a dining room. Well, you still have your food here, but there was like a ball ballroom dancing in the middle. So, yeah, that's something for you guys to desire. So, coming back to this wall here, going back to this, let's get the oak block again. Okay, oak block, place the stairs. Okay, so we've put down six, so I'll put a block on each end like that. And two in the middle. Okay, so remember, like I say, our stores are going up by seven, so that's one, two, three. Okay, now this one is the fourth one, but drag it across like this. Make sure the top one goes there like that. Four, five, six, seven. Okay, one, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Let me just check the other doors to make sure I have done that right, because I do doubt myself. Okay, one, two, three, three, four, five, oops, five, six, seven, eight. Yep, yeah, sorry, it's eight high. Okay, because these doors were a little higher. Okay, so I'll just put a block there and close off the stair of the doorway itself. Remove those two. There we go. Okay, so there's your door and we do need the iron bars that we need to put in the middle of the door there you go right so the next thing that oh forget these two here so a block of quartz now going to the right of the door just put a block there okay now leave a gap of five one two three four five okay now another gap of five three four five now another gap of five, three, four, five, and another gap of five, three, four, five, and this should leave with a six. That's absolutely fine because it corresponds to this wall over here, you see. So if I aim up here nicely, there you go, it lines up just nicely just there. So drag this all the way to the top So you come in contact with the roof or the deck above. There we go, so we just drag it all the way up to the top. Okay. Okay, so that's one, two, three, four, five, all frames done. And the next thing you need to do is get your chisel block, join up nicely from this side here and just drag it across. go I enjoy it up to this side as well so it's all perfectly symmetry okay so what we need to do now is you need to get your white concrete ignore the first three blocks here just fill in these two with your white concrete One done. There's only two to fill. Okay. Okay, so what you need to do next so is get your chisel block again. Now going from the third block from the bottom, what I mean by that is that's one, two, three. It's this block here. Just drag it all the way across. Go. Okay, and then what you need to do next is get your white concrete and just fill the bottom. There we go. There you go, so it should look like that now. And then get your smooth quartz stairs. Put a put a stair in each of these corners. There you 
go. So I should all like that now. Okay, so if you just bear with me. And now we do need white stained glass panels now. If you get your white glass panels. And just basically, it's a row of five. Should be four rows in total. <laughs> Very eager to get this done. Ah, got to get it just right as well. There we go. And in the middle should just be a three. One, two, three, like that. I mean, it's not perfect, but it's the best we can do. Okay, so do the same again. There you go, and one more to go. Done. So it should look like that. So those are your three windows. Okay, and then just fill in these gaps here with white concrete. So let's fill this one here. There we go. So that's that filled in. And let's fill in the top as well. Let's gap at the top. There we go. So we just take away that little staircase there. Fill that in nicely. There we go. Let's get rid of those two slabs because that's where the stairs are going to be. Just let me get to that one. Now go back to your smooth quartz stairs, put a block there, go right across this is to finish off the roof. There you go, fills in nicely just like that. And that takes you to the. Oh, Bit wrong there. There you go, and trade that to the end so it should look like that. Okay, so I just need to brush up on my notes here, folks. I'll be back in just a moment. All right, folks, I just had a refresh on my vote uh, notes, and what you need next is your blocks of quartz. Now, I'll put a block at the end of the doorway there, and at the end of each individual frame, which we went upwards, one there, and one there, and then get your chiller pillar quartz block and drag it to the top just like that okay just gotta take it all the way to the top just make sure you are see head downwards and upwards okay aim down and drag it up that's the best way to describe it okay there we go and then once again when you come towards the roof get your block quartz take out the stairs and just replace it okay there you go Obviously not all on that one there because obviously it's part of the support beam. Okay, and then just take out this roof one, one there and one there. So it should look like just like that. And get your smooth quartz stairs where the chisel block line is. Drag it right across. Oops, not like that. There we go. There we go. So until you get to the chisel block line there, and then aim for the line underneath. Okay, you can just ignore, just take it to the black boundary line there, that's fine. And then drag it all the way across here, from right to the left. And on the pillar quartz, you can just put individual blocks like this. There we go. And you just put them on the floor as well. Okay, so that is that is now complete. All you need to do now is basically you need your iron bars again. Okay, and then starting at the bottom, ignore the first block, but just take out the second and the fourth. Second and the fourth, because it's a block of five. Second and the fourth. Second and the fourth. And the second and the fourth and the sixth. Okay, so it should look like that. And put your iron bars in there. Like I said, this is to give the illusion of like central heating. Um, you know, basically extractor fans and stuff like that, or air conditioning. <laughs> that's what I was looking for. So that's how it should look like. And uh, for a better decoration, get your oak trap. What it's called, the oak trap door. And put them on each individual block, and to remember to close it off as well. It's just a little thing. It's just a little bit of cosmetic. 
go. Just had to give a good light button there because I think I smashed one. There we go. Right, that's that wall done. There you go, so that's how it should look like. And also a little uh, effect, I forgot, I forgot again, get a birch fence um, and just put it on the doorway there and then actually, actually I do apologise, I got it wrong as usual. It's not the, um, it's not the fence, which one was it again? Fence gates, that was it, birch fence gates. Okay, just put one there on there and open them. There you go, great door handles. I'll give a bit of a give light block there and there. Light up the door nicely. There we go. Right, so we're onto this wall now. And once again, get a block of quartz and put a block down on each individual frame. There we go. And it seems to the top as well. Two, three, four. Go and then just below it as well. There you go. So, what you need to do next is just give a line of quartz blocks from the top going straight across. Just remove that stair there. Oh, not that one. Yeah, sorry, that one. <laughs> that one. And then get your smooth quartz steps again and drag it all the way across until you get to the end here. Then put it on the support beam there. Head in like, make sure you're facing it so it gives a nice curve outward like that. So it should look like that because it's exactly the same on the other side. There you go. Right, perfect. So we're moving on. So what you need to do now is get your pillar quartz block and drag it all the way up to the top of each individual one. Sure, looking down, drag it up. Looking down, drag it up. There we go. I just need to check one more thing before I go any further because I want to make sure I get this right. Just to remind my own memory because it's going. Okay, so yeah, we're fine. Okay, so now I need to know what to do. Right, so all you need to do now is get your chisel block, fill in the gaps in between. There we go. So it looks like that now. And then, oh, I need to go and remind myself one more time. Sorry about this, folks. Okay, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, it's fine. Right, so get your smooth quarter stairs again. Okay, so the third one from the bottom, that's one, two, three. Make sure you're looking downwards like that and drag it all the way across. second there we go and not one from the top as well as we did early in the video <laughs> I think it was the video before that to be fair and just do the same again but put it on the pillar quartz block and one on the floor I'll move that one okay so all you need to do now is put a temporary block in between the middle of each one oh wrong one there we go and then get your smooth quartz stairs best way to do it is just go one at a time and aim like that two three four five six seven then return the favor Oh, I should get it right. Oh no, I can't. Ah, can I get it? Oh, there we go. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There we go. And then we're going back again. Um, in this corner. Or oh, two, excuse me. There we go. And return and go back again. I do, I do pull on effort into this guys, hope you all appreciate it. And then get your smooth quartz slab, remove the temporary block and put it at the top like that. Give you your pattern. 
Okay, and what I'm going to do, I'll just put some give light blocks, put it in between each one, it'll light, light up nicely so we can see what we're building. And once again, same routine, so at the bottom, just remove the middle blocks, that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There you go. And once again, just get your iron, or get the iron bars, put them in, so it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oop, don't know why that went off then, there you go. And once again, get your oak trapdoors and put them on each one. The right one, of course. Like I say, if you've got any questions, please leave a comment below and I'll respond as soon as I can. Any questions at all, I don't mind. There we go. So, yes, that is that section done. Now we just need to fill in the roof now. So, once again, we'll do the Dorite slabs. And the right stairs. Get those as well at the same time. There we go. So basically, whatever you see, there you go. Stick into the pattern. Once they touch the touch the steps, them the actual steps. That's when we change it. So there's one there. Ooh. Oh, going all wrong tonight. Uh, there you go. One there. One there. One there, and to finish off there. There we go. And we just need to fill in these gaps here with these slabs. So I'll just do that one there. So, like I say, the next jump up now, which I'm going to show you all, is we need to put some pillars in. So just bear with me. The first one is that easy to find. Okay, so we're looking at the center of the room. You need to go to B1, B1 of the bow, and you line it up. Here, put a block of quart there, not white concrete, block of quartz. Okay, and get your pillar, which I got rid of. Okay, and then drag it to the top. And once you get to the top, go back to your blocks of quartz and get your, get your stairs, smooth quartz stairs, and just put it right across. There we go, so that's that one done, and it's the same for this side. So we're sticking to B1 in the middle. Okay, one there, and one there, and one there, and one there. Okay, drag that all the way up to the top. Remove the block when it hits the top and place it with a quartz box. There you go. Okay, now there are some more pillars to find, guys, if you just bear with me. And some notes somewhere. Typical, I always leave them lying about the place on my desk. Okay, give me two minutes, guys. I've got to do another jump cut while I re refresh my notes. Right, I'm back again. Now, re refresh my memories where the pillars are. Okay, so if we go towards the gallery section again, the stern section, starting at the back, okay, starting from this quartz block, you need a gap of 12. So that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So remove that block, put a quartz block there, which I don't have. There we go. And then get your pillar quartz and drag it downwards. Okay, so remember that, folks, it's a 12 from the wall. Okay, and when you get to the bottom, block of quartz there, get your stairs, and just take it around the pillar. Now, going back to the, uh, the pillar here, now you need a gap of 15. So that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Then we replace the 16th block. And then once again, take it down. There we go. There you go, so there it is. So it should leave a gap of nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and which it does. So you need to repeat that path, but don't remember to reverse it. So it's exactly the same on the bow on the stern side, but when you go to the bow section, starting from this wall here, you need a gap of a nine. So it's basically so if we go to the bottom, 
1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, then a block, then it's 15, 3, 6, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, and that leaves a gap of 12, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, and here we go, because I've got skits a bit here, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, that was 15, so it's on the 16th block, so that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, excellent, okay, so remember, uh, inwards, so like I say, you go from the wall, it's 12, 15, 9, or if you come from the centre, it's 9, 15, 12. So let's do that two pillars there. Okay, block of quartz, place that one. And replace that one as well. Also for effect as well, folks, you can also put stairs on the inside to give that nice little structure, which I forgot to do down there. So I'll do it down there. There we go. So that's one, two, three, and a four. Okay, so we're coming to the end, the end of the video now. Like I said, I'll finish on the other side on the next jump cut. This is the final jump cut I'm doing. There we go. So yeah, it looks quite nice then. So now, what you need now is carpet. Yes, your friend the carpet. Now on this uh, skin pack, I'm going to be using light blue because I think it looks really nice. Okay, and I'm pretty sure I've seen pictures of it in the books, the illustrations. The carpet was blue, and in some cases it was green or a multicolor of brown. I'm going for blue now. Dead easy. All you need to do is put your blue down on the floor. But obviously, when you get around to the vents here, obviously you can't put it there. You can put it in the middle, a little bit hard. So give yourself a gap like that. But the rest of the wall, basically, where you've got no vents, you can just put the carpet down. Okay. Now I've got a lot of carpet to be putting down, folks. So this might be a long jump cut. But I'll be back, like I say, both of those pillars are uh, being all put in. So remember, on the inside it is 9, 15, 12, or if you're going for the wall, 12, 15, 9. Alright, so here we go, folks, ready for the final jump cut. And I'm back, folks, and I've just realised I forgot to do something when I was laying down the carpet. It's basically these centre pillars here in the centre of the room. Okay, very easy to do. I've done the I've done the um, port side already. So, like I say, it's the stern facing there, the bow facing there. It's this pillar beam underneath. It's basically this this line which we put in before, which is quite handy. So, just get your quartz blocks. Your first one is going to be on the stern, and it's on frame number six. So you just put it dead on the centre like that. The next one is on number three, stern three. I haven't got rid of these frames yet, quite handy. The next one is on the bow number one, bow frame one, and then it's bow frame number four, followed by bow frame number seven, and the last one is a ten. Okay, so you get now get your smooth quartz steps, just laying down at the bottom, make a, a four. I've done one there, I'll do it quickly as I can. There we go. So like I say, it's the same for the port and the starboard side. So those frame numbers which I gave into you, those where the centre pillows are. So it's a good hard job we did this uh, quartz line here. There you go. I was just laying down the carpet. I was missing something. I was missing something. And then it just popped out. So on the centre pillars. Okay, so there we go. So after you've done all of them. So all you need to do, do get it now is your pillar quartz block. Drag them to the top. And when you get to the top, just replace that one with quartz block. So that's one. And that's two. So there's six in total. Place that one. I can't know why that one was there. Oh yeah, that was a temporary block, wasn't it? Okay, so pill of quartz again. There we go. Get your quartz block. Place that. Save again. Just drag it to the top. There we go. And the last one. Uh, for a bit more detail, just get your smooth quartz stairs again and just put a stair in the corners here. In fact, I've got one over here as well, facing it like that. This gives it a little bit of style. So, quickest way is one, two, three, four, five, 
So yes, this will be the next last jump cut, guys. I promise you, because like I say, it's just a carpet to do. There we go. On there and on there. Okay. Let's wait for them to catch up. For some reason, I've been pulling blocks on. They haven't appeared. If anybody knows any uh, solutions to that, by all means, I wouldn't mind knowing. So like I say, for some reason, I put a block down. It doesn't show up. And it comes back like within like 30 seconds later. Anyway, right, so here we go, guys. Last jump cut now. And I'll be back once I finish laying the carpet. And there we go, folks. This is your first class dining room now completed. Obviously, without the furniture, of course. <laughs> I'm going to leave that to your imagination. And there we go. Let's have a little fly around. There we go. So, as I say, we're facing the stern here towards the gallery, ship's gallery. And centre of the room, and this is the port side as well. But there we go. So I say sorry the video took so long. Say I have been on holiday as well during filming. Need a little break. Fully recharged now. I'm getting back on with this. But I hope you enjoyed it. As I say, thank you to all my current subscribers and my new ones joining the channel. Like I say, I'll try to get videos out as quickly as I can. But like I say, I do this in my spare time. But there we go. All completed. Carpet down. So like I say, I hope you enjoyed this two-parter. And obviously to get out again, because um, obviously we're sealed in the room, we can't open any doors. So what I do basically is just leave out one of the iron bar, bar frames from the door, because you are big enough to fit through it. And if that's how big it uh, is, if I, if I show my character here, there you go. Stuck in the door. <laughs> okay, so like I say, I'll leave it there, folks. So, yep, oh, you enjoy building it. I say I probably might do the squash course, a bit more of the uh, lower parts of the, sh of the ship. And I'll say I'm going to get cracking on. But like I say, this is Normandy Junction. Wishing you all a very nice, pleasant evening. Take care of yourselves. And I'll, as I say, thank you to all my subscribers and the new ones that enjoy the channel. It does mean a lot. And I'll see you all in the next one. Goodbye.